channel Kids Cloud. Please subscribe to this channel Kids Cloud. Why do some balloons float? Rocky and Ira were playing in the park with the balloons. While playing, Rocky released the string. To his surprise, balloon started moving up. Ira also did the same. But unlike Rocky, her balloon falls on the ground. Both the balloons look almost identical except in color. Then the question arises, why do Rocky's balloon move up while Ira's down? Let's find out the reason behind it. There is a difference in the gas inside the balloon. Rocky's balloon contains helium while Ira's balloon has got air inside it. Does it matter what inside the balloon to make it float? Yes, it matters. To understand it, we have to know about the buoyant force and density of that particular gas. What is buoyancy or buoyant force? During swimming, our body feels lightness. Everyone must have experienced this. Do you know why? The reason is, we are experiencing some up thrust inside the water. It pushes us in the upward direction opposite to the gravitational pull. This up thrust or force acting in the opposite direction of gravity is called buoyant force and the phenomenon is called buoyancy. As a result, we feel light in weight. Due to this buoyancy, some objects will float while others sink. What makes the object sink or float in a fluid? The simple answer is the density of that object. Now let us see the relation between the buoyant force and the density of any object. When the density of a particular object is greater than the fluid in which it is immersed, that object will sink. On the contrary, an object whose density is less than the fluid in which it is immersed, that object will float. For example, if you put a metal ball in the water, it will sink and stay at the bottom. It is due to the more density of the metal ball in comparison with the water. But the case is different when you put a plastic ball in the water. As plastic has less density, the ball floats on the surface unlike the metal one. As the plastic has less density, the buoyant force acting on it is more than the gravitational pull. It results in the floating of that particular ball. While in the case of metal, the density is more. Hence, the buoyant force acting on it is less than the gravitational pull. That's the reason the metal ball gets sunk. Like water, the air is also a fluid. Hence, we can explain the floating of a helium balloon in the air in a similar way. When we fill the balloon with air, the collective density of air and balloon is more than the density of the air alone. That's why the buoyant force is less than the gravitational pull acting on it. When you release the string, it gets pulled down and falls on the ground. On the contrary, helium is lighter and present in trace amount in the air. The combined density of helium and balloon is less in comparison with the air. Hence, when you release the string of a balloon, the buoyancy force experienced by it is greater than the gravitational pull. 
as a result it moves up opposite to gravity high in the air and float thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe to this channel